po sundan yung na share. <laughs> November 12, 2009, I came to know Jesus personally through the Four Spiritual Laws booklet. And that decision made an indelible mark in my life, leading to a pursuit of deeper relationship with God and a great desire to share Christ with others. As a senior college student in Bicol University, I realized for the first time that the church possesses the avenue for believers to use their spiritual gifts. The church has authority and influence which can either build up its members or tear them down. The church in this generation faces its greatest test with immorality, materialism, and division, plaguing it from all sides and in a process losing its power to bring about a positive impact in our era. This reality pierced my heart. I want to help bring back the church to its ground. I want to help build Christ-centered, multiplying disciples to start multiplying churches. Driven by God's clear calling and passion to serve Him by helping fulfill the Great Commission in close partnership with the body of Christ, I joined Philippine Campus Crusade for Christ global church movements as a full-time missionary. Currently, I'm discipling students in the campus and leading a house church among factory workers in Pasig City. This is a third generation house church from Bicol region in Legazpi City, a house church led by students and young professionals. But before all of this, during my early years as a missionary, I've met two committed believers in the campus. Jomari Espartines, now also a full-time missionary with Campus Crusade for Christ, and engineer, now engineer, Paulo Esternon. God has entrusted these disciples to care for, train, share God's vision, and journey with. Paulo then shared the Four Spiritual Laws booklet to another student named Mark Liobrera, who is now on his second year serving with us as a missionary. Mark? I used to be a naughty guy, but God has changed me, and you can also experience the same. So this line struck my heart. When someone said this during our conversation at a campus crusade for Christ gathering in our school, and still I was doubtful I could be changed until Paolo shared with me the four spiritual laws booklet last January 10, 2013. And I received Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior that same day. As I continue in the faith and in the movement, I've started to see changes in me, and I also saw the great need for Christ in my campus. So as a result, I started to share my faith to my fellow students and disciple them so they too could experience the transformation I've experienced myself. So CCC has equipped me in the skills necessary to bring more students into Christ's kingdom. And God eventually entrusted me to, to lead one of the student churches in Bicol University. It was never easy to lead a student church, but I'm just encouraged by the simplicity of the church and the lives of the first century Christians found in Acts chapter two. So the believers were regularly meeting together, st studying God's word together, and practicing the elements of the church. And eventually the Lord added to their numbers daily, those who were being saved. After graduation, I passed the baton to my disciple, challenging him to also lead another student church in Bicol University. And it's a joyful feeling to see churches, to see students continuing your passion and service for the Lord through planting student churches. And I am John Mart Librera, a missionary of Campus Crusade for Christ, and it's my heart's desire to see every church member a church planter.
Kuya Olin was one of those faithful and devoted leaders who have trained me about multiplying disciples that will start multiplying churches. Currently, I am handling 12 new male disciples in my ministry area. Most of them came from non-Christian background. I am praying that this ministry year, this group will be formed as a church and they too will be able to disciple other students as well. Also, I am mobilizing five churches using the wind build send process, each having an average of 10 members which aims to plant new churches and open campus movements. I am visiting these churches twice a month, conducting classroom sessions and going with them in the field. I am grateful I was trained early on during my college years. As a leader of Campus Crusade for Christ back then, God gave me burden to not just reach out students in the campus, but also our church, which was not so into discipleship that time. While God was blessing me with multiplying disciples down the chain, I also started multiplying some leaders of our church, and one of them was Christian. I discipled and trained him with others, with other leaders through and with the process that we use in global church movements. Seeing them witnessing and leading discipleship groups gave joy in my heart. He was one of my closest disciples and we treat each other as friends. Because of our deep friendship, Christian has caught the vision of multiplying disciples that will start multiplying churches. I praise the Lord that he was one of the disciples whom God has entrusted to me to lead a community church. Of course, this church was a product of having multiplying disciples. Through his life, when God called me to be a missionary of Campus Crusade for Christ, he was one of my successors in our church. And the rest of the story, he will continue. As one of Kuya Jom's disciples whom he have trained and mobilized, helping fulfill the Great Commission in my sphere of influence became one of my top priorities, particularly in my campus and in my church. As one of the leaders in our church back then, through Kuya Jom, God put a burden and desire in my heart to really join the vision of God in every church, which is to multiply. At first, I have hesitation to be mobilized because of my wrong perspective about church multiplication. I am contented with my ministry, but God renewed my mind and recalibrated my heart when I attended the Leadership Tra Training Institute of Campus Crusade for Christ. And through intentional discipleship and training, the DNA of multiplying disciple became true and more active in my life. Personal witnessing and discipleship were highlighted as I mature in Christ, and God allowed me to disciple and train moving and multiplying disciples, both in the campus and in our church. Together with Kuya Jom and the other leaders, God allowed us to collectively gather our disciples and their disciples in our church. We discipled, mobilized, and trained each other. And by God's faithfulness, we became a movement. And later on, we became a church, which is now called the Christ Ambassadors Church. This church is primarily consists of college and high school students. When God called Kuya Jom to be a full-time missionary, God entrusted me to lead the church. In a span of one year, by God's amazing power, we expanded to the other municipality and started our newly pioneered second-generation community church. All of the attendees there are actively participating in evangelism and discipleship. On the other hand, when my internship for practice teaching started, I was also able to use my influence to reach the students of the campus where I am deployed. I initiated to gather all the Christians together with my churchmate, who is also my classmate and my disciple at that time. We intentionally prayed for the school, started sharing the booklet and discipling the students. And by the grace of God, our church is currently pioneering three campus churches where two of my disciples are presently working for his kingdom's cause. And I am Christian Armenta, a missionary of Philippine Campus Crusade for Christ, the global church movement, 
who wants to see Christ-centered, multiplying disciples who will start multiplying churches. To God be always the glory. Quoted from my inductive Bible study method manual, it reads, Mark chapter 3, verse 14, And Jesus appointed twelve so that they might be with him, and he might send them forth to preach. Discipleship does not consist of what disciples can do for Christ, but what Christ can do through them. Discipleship is about one having a relationship with Jesus and what one does out of that relationship. Discipleship is a relationship before it is a task. This is but a small picture of what is to come. Nothing can stop God from fulfilling His vision in Habakkuk 2.14, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. I am Olin Galan, and we are God's called servant leaders committed to build multiplying disciples to start multiplying churches.